Hello guys! I am back home today from work. I already took off my makeup. I needed this thing to heal and go away. I'm about to go put some uh, green cream on it to like um, counteract with the red. <laughs> little, little baby's playing with his toy. I just got it for him. He had it under a table and he couldn't get it. It was like a um, very thin like table from the table to the floor. So he couldn't get underneath and get it so I just got it for him. And I got crust white strips on, you know, beautifying myself right now. Um, I'm about to turn on the AC. I just didn't want to do it while I said hi to you guys. But you know what? I can turn on now. I'm dying. It's so hot outside today, guys. Um, why did that not work? Did that just die? Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, I started editing a video on the train today, but it's like an hour long video and cutting it down it's not getting much shorter it's at like 40 minutes right now um i mean i'm sure it'll get a little bit shorter still but it's just a scrapbook page video the easel card that i made so um it's just that i guess the easel part is like done it's just a decorating part now that i'm showing you guys but i was thinking so with all of these like scrapbook elements i was thinking maybe i should make an svg file and like with the scrapbook pages too because otherwise you have to like cut them down hole punch them and everything but i could just make an svg file for that and have like a scrapbook bundle and i could also have like the pieces separate but um i was wondering if that's something that you guys would be interested in so it's not going to be like the different kind of like decorations that i add to the card but the easel itself like the heart easel is gonna have the three heart pieces and like to make the easel um so i was thinking of that maybe i mean i guess i could do like the base of the scrapbook page too um with each one of those but i don't know let me know what you guys think would you guys want to see um svg files for the scrapbook elements as well um just let me know and i could totally work on that on that throughout the year and it'll also give me something to film. I feel like I'm talking with the list, but I'm so sorry. It's the Crest White strips. But um, that'll also give me something to do throughout the year so I can make the SVG files. And then I could, and then, and then obviously I like to do the videos with the SVG, but blah, with the SVG files. <laughs> so then I would have to film that as well, but it would give me like something that I know I need to work on throughout the year. So it's something and trying to keep me consistent with the YouTube. I'm gonna have like some YouTube videos and I have a whole bunch like pre-filmed, but I'm still obviously gonna film because I don't have enough for the whole year. So it'll give me something to do when I have like an extra couple of hours or so. Right, Boo? What's up? Are you trying to come up on my chair? I'm so sorry for not making space for you. There you go. Hi, Munchkin. Hello, hello. I know we're chilling and cuddling. I know. Cause you're my baby. He was like extra happy when I got home today. Super duper. Super duper happy. Oh yeah, that's his ball that he just found again. You look so cute right now. Oh my goodness, you look so adorable. Yeah, you do. They know it too and we know it. You gonna bark at me? You want me to play? I know, I know. Well, you gotta give me the ball. Oh, okay. Are you ready running for it? Go get it. Got it. That was fast. Guys, I just got the most amazing and sweetest mail ever. So my mom just got back from the post office. Um, she dropped off my mail. Well, not, she didn't just get back. She dropped off my mail in the morning, got stuff from my PO box. I was at work. And so she just gave it to me because she just got home. And it's a package from one of you guys, okay? Like, what? I, like, what? And then I'm looking at it, it's a little ripped up, so I don't know if there was a note in here or if there was anything in here, so if you sent me this, please, please, please let me know. I need to send you something back. Like, that's just amazing, but there's like, I don't have a note or anything here. But one of you guys, I mean, maybe this is a note. I'm going to look at this in a second. I'm not sure. But one of you guys sent me a crafty book. What? I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, like how? Where, where, where did you get this? 
like, and it tells you instructions. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm just amazed. Like, where did you get this such, like, this book? I would love to make you a card, send you something back. Got tons of stationery I could send you if you'd like some stationery. You're so, so freaking sweet. Like, oh, it is a note, it is a note. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, hold on. I didn't know if that was like a little envelope or anything. Okay. So I'm gonna read the little note. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I think that says Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa. Hi, Mom, you're my vlog. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mom, well now you should say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mom, this person's so sweet. Okay. You want to know what they said? I've been enjoying your vlogs and see you've been on the hunt for crafting magazines. I had this book in my stash and hope you enjoy it. Please take care and thank you for sharing your life and creativity with us. Aww. It's that so is sweet. Nice. It is very nice. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. So, so, so much. Like, I'm so excited to get to crafting with this. Oh my gosh, is there like an address on here? Return address or anything? No, but if you want to reach out to me on Instagram, I get those messages, like the DMs. I don't really know how to do YouTube messages, but if you want to reach out to me or email me, let me know um, your address and I would totally love to send something back to you. So let me know. Like this was just so sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cherish it and take care of it. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta call my babe and let him know. This is just amazing. <laughs> babe, 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 are you almost home? Not really. Okay, well, I gotta tell you some awesome news. I can't wait till our FaceTime later. Okay, what's up? So, my mom just got home and she went to the post office for me this morning and she always checks my P.O. box and there is something in my P.O. box and somebody uh, sent me a magazine with like over 500 cards and how to make them. Not a magazine, sorry, a book. Get out of here. Yeah! I'm looking at it, I'm like, what? I'm like, this is amazing. That's everything you could ever imagine? Yeah, it has so many awesome things in here. What's it called? Um, it's called The Best of Stamp It Cards. Over 500 inspiring cards by paper crafts, I think. Alright, so I'm flipping through this book. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Like, I want to, like, craft and make some Halloween cards right now because I'm, I'm looking at the Halloween section and I'm getting some inspiration and I'm getting inspired. And here's what we have. I like this one. I could, you know, make something along those lines. I also really like this one and this one. Like these are really cool. I wanted to make like some Halloween shaker cards though, so I maybe I could make this into a shaker. I got some bats, but mine are not as cute as that. That's mad cute, mad cute bats. And I like how this um, this card has like a little tag that says boo. These are so cute, guys. I'm having so much fun and going through this magazine right now or not magazine I keep calling it a magazine but it's a book guys it's a book um, I will also have a link to this down below if I could find it for you guys in case any of you uh, in case anyone else wants to get um, a book like this um, I will have a link down below for you guys but Lisa seriously you are amazing thank you thank you thank you thank you so much my boyfriend said thank you, and my mom said thank you. Like, just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Like, this is just amazing, and you're so sweet. Also, don't mind the green on my face. My face is a little red, so I'm, like, trying to use a green cream to kind of make some of the redness go away. Um, so, yeah, it's like a pampering kind of session after work today so doing that but I am wanting to craft so I was just editing some videos and then I really wanted to craft after so 
This came just in time. Let me give you guys an update of what's happening. So I haven't started making any, any Halloween cards, but what I did do is purchase some uh, Halloween SVGs because I didn't feel like sitting here trying to create my own. They're already created for me. I like to create like SVGs for like projects and elements of like cool kind of card things, not necessarily like images. I don't know. I can't draw. I'm just I'm not a good drawer. So I purchased some clip art SVG thingamabobbies and <laughs> your girl has a ton of a black cardstock. So this might take me a while to cut these out because I got black cardstock, but it's in pieces or it's about to be in pieces at least. I got my mat here for my cutting machine. Let me just zoom this way and get my black cardstock. Your girl has these black cardstock things. So these were all from the pop-up cubes that I was sitting here cutting making yeah these are all from the pop of cubes so I have like all of this like cardstock I'm just going to create like a little uh template I guess like a box let me see what measurement this is because we're gonna glue these down and I want to make my file so it like cuts this out um hold on so if I have it this way this measures approximately four and a half let's be safe and go with four and a half i'm just gonna create a box here that's four and a half by five so that i know i should put all of my images inside of that okay and then i got some space on the bottom we could put some bats there so i organized stuff to go on my paper you guys see how it goes bigger here a little smaller there and then on the bottom I'm gonna have those little bats I put this aside for now because I could do that in another pass um, like with another paper I could just put down um, the haunted house and cut that out so let's see guys let's see how this works I will tell you guys one thing this spider web file not a very good SVG and I don't mean that in as in like um, like like, I don't mean that it's like bad, like it looks pretty if I was to do like a print and cut maybe, but um, the way that it's created, not very good. So I just ended up changing the whole entire file and I'll show you exactly why. For example, let me show you guys the cut lines. With this SVG file, they should have like put stuff together, but this would, I don't know if you guys could see the darker black lines, but this is going to cut out all those black line pieces out of this thing. I tried to do like a welding thing and that didn't work. Um, so I had to do like a trace, then an outline, then an offset, then an internal offset, and it became a whole hot mess, but I finally created this thing. It's not perfect. Um, I had I took out a lot of these pieces because I don't know like when you when I traced it There was like a lot of pieces that ended up being like pointy and like random spots So that wasn't gonna work for me So I, w I just wanted to say that SVG files not the greatest if you are going to be making this and that's the only reason I'm letting you guys know because um, That's gonna be difficult but um yeah okay so i'm gonna cut out this now now that i finally have everything here and hopefully this will work now um so i'm gonna do a heavy cardstock settings on both of these um and this is what my sheet's gonna look like because like that's where my paper is and sent to silhouette and hopefully this works just fine hoping that my paper looks like it's falling off of this thing guys this seemed to work i could actually put something here in this bottom corner probably a little something more here but this did a pretty good job um here's my spider web i love it i have some pieces i need to like cut a little cleaner um some didn't like completely cut through um i need a new i need to change my blade but like these guys i'm wondering how i could take these off because it's boo but it's three different pieces and same thing with the um with the spiders the eyes i gotta take out obviously um but uh yeah those are gonna be um needed to be paced back there 
I don't know if I should if I should just like put these onto um maybe like a what is the word I'm looking for? What is that sheet? The transfer tape. But I don't know if they're gonna stick the transfer tape either. So um we're, we're working and we're about to find out, I guess. This crafty book got me inspired to do Halloween stuff, but I realized like I don't have like a lot of Halloween die cut stuff, so I just wanted to cut some more. But it's the start. I was inspired, wanted to create it. Um, I am working on now attempting to cut out like that house and stuff that I had. So this is what I'm gonna cut out now. I had changed the spider file to not cut out like the eyes, uh, like the inside dots. There's no point because um, transfer tape was not gonna be strong enough for this. This is some heavyweight cardstock. It's like thick, even though you guys can't tell. But I will just draw um, my own eyes in like in black ink or something when I do this. Um, the boo is not bad, it's just three letters. Two of them are the same, the O's. The bats are just gonna chill, and I love the spider web, even though it's a pain in the butt to um, cut out and get all the pieces out, but it's just so cool looking. So I'm just having fun and cutting out a whole bunch of doll, uh, ha, not Halloween, Halloween die cuts. These are some other ones I cut out before. Um, they're little spiders. Now these were using a die, and then these little bats using a die. Now I think these are gonna be good for um, shaker cards actually, so I think I might do that with those. But I'm just gonna put them all together, and when I need a bat, I could go hunting in here for a little bat depending on what kind I want to use. Same thing with the spiders. I'm just gonna stick them in here. I like these little organizers for die cuts, especially when it's like that season or whatever. Um, and I could just, you know, um, separate stuff for the season. And then I could just make a whole bunch of cards and stuff. And then I'm going to put the boos in there and I could just, you know, find the letters easily. Um, this spider web I'm going to put in with these other little print. These are printing cuts. Some of these, some of them are die cuts, but... Oh look, that fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna stick that in there. And then this other little one I have is like some Christmassy ones that I cut out in a previous video that you guys saw. And here's some like fall ones that I had found in my stash that I should be using soon. So yeah, just have those here because those are like the next seasons coming up. Totally skipped over Thanksgiving, but oh well. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> We skipped over it. I mean, we originally went straight to Valentine's Day because I made my Valentine's Day card for my babe this summer, and that was like the beginning of the summer, and I made that, and then I made, what did I make after that? Hmm, I don't know, but I already made some Christmas cards and some shakers. I mean, I didn't put them on cards yet, but I made like some shakers and some Christmassy stuff, and then I already made my boyfriend's um, golf card, and that's in October. And I still don't have like my sister's card for September, and my dad's card for September, my mom's card for November. Like I don't have any of that yet, so I don't know when. But uh, yeah, I mean I definitely have to do my sister's card. I just don't have the proper paper of the thing that I wanted to create for her. So either I need to go get some paper or I need to figure out a different project to make. I think I have enough stuff cut out guys like how many Halloween cards can I possibly make I, I only cut out from was it two sheets three sheets maybe I didn't cut out from a lot and I still have tons of scraps of this left um, I don't really know what else to do with it <laughs> I really don't know but I have enough spiders I have enough bats I don't really like cats so I only have a couple of cats I have a couple of trees um, I guess I could cut out some more trees and stuff and I don't know I'm not gonna use all these like haunted houses I have two yeah I could use those but if I do more like I don't know how I'm gonna use all these I think I might just cut out like a couple more spider webs because these I might want to layer like a couple on a page um, but then like I really don't know what else to do with still all the scrap paper <laughs> wanted to show you guys because I ended up cutting up some other doilies. I forgot I had purchased these before but I love this one so much. It's so nice and big. It could be on like a square card like the center of attention. Then I realized I had another spider web that I purchased as well and I didn't have to go through that whole entire thing before. So this is the one that I had to 
um, change up the files. So they're all different. They're still gonna work for my cards. Like this is the one I realized I already had. This is the one I had to change up the file. It's a little bit more, you know, like funky, not so even like this one. Um, kind of looks more like a spider web kind of thing. And this one is more like a spider web doily. They're all like super pretty though. So I made a whole bunch of those. All right guys, I'm ready and in bed. It's a little after 10.30. Just finished playing a little bit of Blake. There, I don't know. Just finished playing a little bit of Bakery Story. Already FaceTimed my babe. And I'm watching May May Crafts, I think is the YouTube channel. And I'm just watching her make a whole bunch of like Christmas cards from like one whole paper pack. Like her videos are just awesome. I want to do that one day, but I just, I feel like it's going to take forever. Um, I mean, she got like some skill and she does it mad fast, but like me, that would go, um, take like all day, if not more, like a lot of time. I mean, but I guess I could split it up into pieces also and, um, just like start with something and maybe do like a voiceover over it, but I feel like I'm a little all over the place when I make cards and like she's doing like an assembly line and like for me to do that I would have to have an idea of like exactly what I'm making and kind of make them all the same but she still manages to make a difference so I don't know I'm not like that skilled yet and I love my shaker cards and like cards with like different folds and stuff so maybe I should just make a video of like pre-folding a whole bunch of like different kind of style cards to then decorate I don't know that's a good idea though I do like that idea okay I don't know but I am gonna go to bed again thank you so much to Lisa for sending me that crafty book I'm just so excited and I'm excited to make my Halloween cards which is what I wanted to do like a video with but I just I don't know when that's gonna happen but I'm excited to do some Halloween crafts I did all the die cutting today I got inspired with the book so I'm excited thank you again and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.